This is our new beehive. This is the third attempt at a top bar hive. The top bar is different from the regular kind of beehive in that all the bees, the bees naturally form combs hanging from bars that go across the top. This is uh, the entrance here right now. It's covered up with wine corks. There are 10 little three quarter inch holes. Should be plenty of room for them to get in and out and we can cover up more or less if it gets cold or if we want them to stay in the hive temporarily. And the top comes off and then the side hinges open as well. Let's get the top off here. top and underneath the top there's a regular top bar hive and each of these bars oops that's awesome have a uh, triangular cross section and the honeycomb hangs down theoretically when the bees build honeycomb it will hang straight down and it will look sort of like that it's kind of an arc trapezoid shape it's the natural shape that they make in the wild um, this hive is different because it has this fully enclosed body here. And in the past I've put them, I've made trough shaped things that have been up on legs and they have not done well in the winter. Both times they've sort of frozen out. We've had um, just like a couple of weeks of, of low temperature and it's killed them both years. So this year I made something with a, kind of an enclosed body to it. And there's a lot of, a lot of extra room in here. You can open this guy up, you can see how much room's inside. So inside here, you can see the, the hive body, and this arc right here, this is all acrylic. I went over to Tap Plastics, they took care of me, they gave me a really nice bendable sheet of acrylic, which is non-toxic, it's food grade, it doesn't outgas, and the bees will live inside here, and we can kind of see, there we go, lots of reflection, there we go. You can see the bottom side of the top bar, and each of these bars will have a comb hanging down from it, and the Narrow, lighter ones in the middle there will be the brood comb, and that's where they, they raise their young. And the fatter ones in the back will be uh, hopefully full of honey. And you get about nine pounds of honey uh, per bar. And then you can see there's, there's uh, some aluminum sheeting in the back there, so we don't get a lot of uh, water in and out. And then on the bottom, I have a webcam. And the cam can uh, tilt and pan, so we should be able to see almost everything that goes on here. Uh, and it is an infrared sensitive cam. Um, so even when it's dark in here and everything's buttoned up tight, uh, the bees actually make quite a lot of extra heat. So we should be able to see what's going on.